do what you can. These are weekly actions you can take to help look after the planet. This is number 13 and it is the last toilet talk or matches and musings. I acknowledge I sit and speak on Wurundjeri land. I respect their traditions and embrace their love of country. Okay, so I was converted to using matches for the stink on the theory that the matches burnt the gases that made the smell. Now thanks to Mythbusters and Science Norway, I now know that although it does burn some of the gases, it actually doesn't burn hydrogen sulfide, which is the stinky gas. So what you're literally doing is, as you light the match, you're replacing the hydrogen sulfide with sulfuric dioxide, which is a stronger scent. Now, if that's the case, I'm much more likely to continue using my Orange Power and Perfect Potion sprays rather than using my matches, which are single use. So the other thing we want to think about is that matches and lighters are heavily linked, companies that are heavily linked with cigarette companies. Need I say more? So Shop Ethical does not rate them well. There are ethical alternatives. So I have an article I'm going to share with you um, that talks about fire steel, which is like totally cave human, which I love. Um, and then they also talk about rechargeable lighters. So lighters you charge and then you can, you can use over 200 times before you need to recharge them again. All right, the rest of my, my toilet musings. If it's brown, flush it down. If it's yellow, let it mellow. Except if you have guests, then flush. And if you need to do a poo because you don't want that splash back. The last thing I'm going to say is it's really healthy to get those knees up when you go to the toilet. So get a stool for your stools. I got this one from the toy factory in Adelaide um, and it's Australian made and pretty awesome. Guys, I hope you're all doing well. Life's pretty crazy right now, huh? Do what you can and we'll all do all right.